Don't hate on us. Right out of the gate, we'll tell you we're not anti-Snyder or anti-Snyderverse. I never said that. You can watch our history of the Snyderverse and our why the film industry should restore the Snyderverse videos, our live streams on Snyder, and our countless articles on the whole thing for proof of that fact. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go over what we were told by a source with very close ties to Warner Brothers about the future of the Snyderverse and whether Zack will ever get to direct another DC Comics movie. We started off by asking them straight out whether the Snyderverse would be continuing at WB Discovery and whether there were any plans to bring Zack Snyder back. They revealed to us that the Snyderverse isn't carrying on. Yup, that was pretty blunt. But they continued, adding that following the Warner Media and Discovery merger, the studio wants to focus on making new DC content. However, they also said that they wanted to make big blockbusters and they are looking to focus on characters like Superman, Batman, Aquaman, and yes, The Flash. What? This would explain why Warner Brothers opted to cancel the Batgirl movie. They felt like the movie wasn't going to be big enough to perform on the big screen, and they don't really seem to care about streaming. This information was then backed up by another source we reached out to. When asked about the Snyderverse and Zack Snyder's future with DC Films, they stated that the Snyderverse isn't carrying on, as in we won't be seeing a Justice League 2 anytime soon. This comes after there was a report suggesting that the Flash director, Andy Muschietti, might be directing Justice League 2 for Warner Brothers. However, that might not actually be Justice League 2, it could just be a new Justice League movie. Or a Flash sequel. The source then went on to claim that Zack won't be directing another DC movie for Warners. That relationship is broken, and they didn't believe that the relationship could be fixed at this time. However, with new leadership in charge, there could be a way back for Zack, and a way to fix the broken relationship between the two parties. The source added that this would require both sides to set aside their egos, and they stressed that both Snyder and Warner Brothers have very big egos. It's personal for Warner Brothers. This point was brought up by multiple sources we spoke to. One of them stated that he pissed off a lot of very important people, which was in reference to Zack's antics when he basically stole the movie reels of his cut of Justice League directly from Warner Brothers and refused to return them. Did I really do that? Any other director would have been in very serious legal trouble. But Zack has a lot of clout in Hollywood, and also has a very big following online that many movie studios seem to be very wary of. <laughs> I brought more soldiers than you did. Okay, all of this doesn't mean that the Snyderverse is dead necessarily. Our sources all highlighted the fact that Warner Brothers want to carry on with the same actors that were in the Zack Snyder DC movies. We already know that Ben Affleck is returning as Batman in Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom and the Flash movie. We still have Jason Momoa as Aquaman in Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. The only real question mark seems to be over Henry Cavill's Superman. None of our sources were able to tell us whether he'll be returning as the Man of Steel in the DC Universe. However, one of them did reveal to us that he will not be in Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. This new is bittersweet. It seems as though Zack Snyder's time making DC Comics movies is over. His legacy will, however, live on thanks to some fantastic casting. We would love it if WB Discovery made Zack Snyder's Justice League canon, but we're not even sure what they're doing on that front. We did ask all our sources about that, but we got no clear answer regarding that matter. That's rude. We know it's not the best news in the world, but we think we should all be very excited to see what Warner Brothers can do next with its DC content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.